Let me tell y'all my, my thoughts on this. Let me tell y'all my thoughts. This is just me. This is this is me talking. This is Legend of Winning talking. Based off of everything that I have gathered, not only from uh, reading articles, taking down as much information I possibly can, as well as my sources. KD has to have the biggest balls of all time, bro. The stuff that Kevin Durant is doing right now, I have never in my life seen a player go into, like, just I want just imagine how this conversation went. Kevin Durant sat down and basically told this nigga, bro, you're going to trade me. And then once they had a back and forth about it, he more or less just basically told him something outrageous, knowing that the result was still going to be trading me. And then gives so little of a fuck about this organization, went to go leak it to Sham, because for people who don't know, Sham, like 90% of his sources are from directly NBA players. Woj more so breaks news via the agents or via a um, front office exec. 90% of the time though, when it comes to Sham, is from a player. Kevin Durant basically sat down with Joe Sy, told him what he wanted, Joe Sam probably told him no, and Kevin Durant gives so little of a f about this organization that he then leaked that information, directly correlating him as an individual to the potential firing of two people in that front in that team, which is absurd. That has never happened before. Knowing that it wasn't actually going to happen, he knew it wasn't going to happen. The Joe Sy's response was, "Hey man, I'm doing best with what, I'm doing what's best for my organization." And I know for a fact a lot of Brooklyn Nets fans out there, y'all get upset when Joe Sy says that. But the reality is, is that firing Steve Nash and firing Sean Marks does nothing for this team outside of obviously potentially keeping Kevin Durant. But nothing else changes. The roster is still what it is. You don't have a coach. We're a month and a half away from training camp. Why would you do that to your organization? It just doesn't make any sense. And I think it's very odd to me, based off of the information that we have, that Kevin Durant basically wants this team to implode itself, even though the team more or less has done a lot of things that him and Kyrie approved of, some of which they demand of. But the other part that I think, I, I, I will give credit to KD about this. Me looking at both sides, me, me coming to the conclusion that maybe there's a possibility. There is a possibility that Kevin Durant could have a point of trying to demand a trade. And, and I'll explain this. And this is, and I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna say this as well before I, I go into it. This is literally the only logical reason to why Kevin Durant can come to this conclusion and that I would wholeheartedly understand and agree with him. So, like you all know, my, my saying, in the beginning, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving told these niggas to get on your knees and start slurping me off. They did so. They got on their knees. They did what they were supposed to do, but as soon as they got Kevin Durant under contract, everything switched. Here's why I say that. Let's go back to the beginning of this past offseason. They got rid of DeAndre Jordan because that contract was horrible. They didn't bring back Landry Shamit, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jeff Green. They didn't bring back none of them. Those are all moves that we can all, I think, understandably say, hey, these moves were made. If you're Kevin Durant, this, I'm speaking as Kevin Durant. DJ is my guy, even though I want him here. I understand you have to make room for Kyrie and Harden because you're about to give them a contract. Okay, understandable. All right, going to the season. Kyrie has stated in the beginning of the season, he was going to get some form of, of exemption with the COVID shot. That was going to be a result in being a part-time player. Then the Brooklyn Nets changed their mind on it. You know, what would you do? You know, if, if you felt uncomfortable going into the season, uh, when you were promised that you would have exemptions or that you didn't have to be forced to get the vaccine. You know, this wasn't an issue uh, before the season started. This, this wasn't something that I foresaw coming where I prepared for it. Which then forced KD and Harden to play these absurd minutes in the beginning parts of the season and playing next to fucking David Duke and Patty Mills trying to beat teams while Harden and Durant playing 37, 38, 39 plus minutes. If you're Kevin Durant, that's fucked. Me and Harden just came off of hamstring injuries in the prior year. Harden's still not 100% right. And y'all sitting here playing. Y'all playing with us. Let Kyrie play. Allegedly, Harden felt that Kyrie was supposed to make the decision. But Kevin Durant, you're KD. You're like, nah, bro. 
The organization is the problem because they sat in there and they told him that he did not have to take a shot because they're going to give him part-time exemption, and then they took that away at the last minute. Harden is now frustrated. I don't want to do this while we, while we play on these minutes. I'm playing next to David Duke. KD like, all right, man, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But these niggas is bugging. They, they bugging. They bugging. They tripping. It gets so bad, and they playing so many minutes. Harden, Harden is about to lose it. He, he about to go out of his mind. Kevin Durant finally says, hey, man, stop fucking around. Let Kyrie play. But it's too little too late. By the time they let him play, 10 days later, Kevin Durant, I'm deal, I, now I got an MCL injury. Now I'm going to be out. Harden already didn't had enough. Like, nigga, I just got done doing this in the early stages of the season. Now Kyrie finally coming back, but y'all bullshitting because y'all could have had Kyrie playing in the beginning of the season, but y'all sitting here doing what? Having a power trip? What's going on? I'm fucking, I'm out of here, bro. I ain't doing this. Y'all got playing. I want out. So Harden forced his way out. And then Sean Marks, this is what he did. This, this is where I think Kevin Durant is looking at him like, nigga, what did you do? He traded James Harden for a player in Ben Simmons who didn't even play, who couldn't even play. Kevin Durant is like, nigga, what, what the fuck going on? Okay, we then go further on. I come back. Kyrie eventually becomes a full-time player. We go into the playoffs. And this nigga Steve Nash couldn't coach a Little League team. Middle of the season series, Kevin Durant is like, nigga, this is, this is some bullshit. And then he gets to see Spencer Dinwiddie on the other conference, the player that he was supposed to have, balling out of his mind. Now he really pissed. We then go into the offseason. It's time to pay Kyrie. And they, they, they bullshitting again. Nigga, give him the fully guaranteed max. The only reason why you cut these players in the beginning of the season is because you needed space to sign Kyrie and Harden. So sign this nigga. I'm 32, 33. You playing with me. Sign that nigga. You not? Oh, okay. Then trade me. Because you playing with me. Now that right there is the only way I can understand where KD is coming from. If he is rationalizing the way that we lost Harden and the way we just basically wasted a season and we just got douched like that is because they fucked around the entire season going back and forth with the Kyrie situation, which upset at James Harden. And then you, you were trying to save money at the top of the year and you're still not going to give Kyrie his money. Nigga, you're playing with me. You're playing with me. Because in the beginning, you was gargling me. And you thought I was going to let you get up off your knees? No, 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 nigga. Just because I signed that contract, that don't mean you get off your knees, nigga. You think, if, hey, to the chat, y'all think that I'm, I'm crazy. Y'all think I'm crazy. Is that not what he just told Josiah to do? He went in the front, all, he went to Josiah's office and basically told Josiah for the final time, nigga, get on your knees, nigga. Stop playing with me, boy. Trade me or fire them. It's one or the other. Trade me or get back on your knees. One of the two. Josiah said, hey, I'm not getting back on my knees. I'm done. You're under contract, nigga. FYI, let's pause for a second. This is why LeBron, when he was in Cleveland, he was signing them one, two-year deals because he could then look at everybody in that front office and tell them, get back on your fucking knees, nigga, or I'll leave. Joe Sy and, and Sean Marks, they saying they, 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 did the, they did the got, got 3,000 for the first year or two with KD. Soon as he signed his contract, they were like... <laughs> Well, done with him. Done sucking him off. I ain't got to suck him off no more. I got, I got him on the contract. It's done. K, KD sitting there like, oh, oh, man. Oh, oh man. Why you stop, nigga? What's, what's wrong with you? Why you stop? Keep going. You upset? No, oh, I don't care. You're in the, you, you got four years, nigga. Four years here. It's done. You signed. And Kevin Durant is looking at the rest of this roster, and he's like, oh, no. I'm basically back in the same situation I was in in OKC. Me and a guard and a bunch of non-skilled players, a couple of shooters here and there, but a team that is going to be overly dependent on the star power of me and the star guard with a coach that really don't know what the he doing. It's the same thing. Don't let nobody else tell y'all different because that's, that's what happened. <laughs> And from the perspective that I just laid out from Kevin Durant, I can understand. Now, from, from their perspective, 
I can understand them as well. Like, bro, we did we did what y'all wanted to do for the first two years, and it didn't really amount to anything at all. So we can't just keep allowing y'all to run crazy. But if you want to be traded, fine. But nigga, I just got off my knees sucking you off. Nigga, them 2019, they trying to fuck me, boy. They, they, they trying to really get over on me. Trying to screw me over in every trade I, I get. I got off my knees. I'm not about to go lay back on my back to go get screwed over by 29 other teams. So until they can give me an actual offer, nigga, you a net because your, your name is on that damn contract, nigga. I, I, and I really do. I'm not even trying to be funny. All jokes aside, I understand. That's just the most, that's the easiest way for me to put it to you all. I understand it. I understand it. I get it. I get both, both sides of this. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. I don't know. I don't know no other uh, analogy. That is, that is easily the, the best analogy.